Zach, have fun together. You rode him last time out. What was your opinion of that run? Yeah, I thought it was a good run. Um, he ended up with a nice run in the race. He came through like he was going to win and just was beaten by a better horse on the day. He's had a trial since then. Has he improved? Uh, I wouldn't say he's come on a lot. Um, you know, he, he may be looking for a little bit further. He sort of doesn't have uh, as much gate speed as what he was showing in his early trials. I really had to ride him along at his last start in his trial. Here recently, I had to ride him along a lot to try and um, have him in a position as well. So from the gate, it's not going to be easy to, to get um, him up near the speed or in the right spot. So we'll just have to try and work out where we can slot in. There looks to be a bit of speed on in the race though. Should that help your cause? Yeah, of course. Um, the faster they go, obviously if he's back a bit, it might give him a chance to run home. Is he a horse you've got a bit of time for? Yeah, he's a, he's a nice horse. Um, you know, he's going to win a couple of races here in Hong Kong and he'll end up doing well. He seems OK. He, um, he didn't have too tough a run, you wouldn't think, just watching it visually. But, but obviously he won the race, so he's done plenty of work. Um, he seems to be OK at home and uh, maybe the cool weather helped him out a little bit. Was it always a plan to run him in both races this week? Yeah, he's, he's sort of going to struggle a bit after Sunday to find a suitable race. So um, I thought, well, if he runs uh, in both of them and wins one of them, that'll, that'll be a good result. He's been a, a great horse for the stable. He's won four races, over $7 million in prize money. Yeah, he's done well. He, he had a problem early on. He fractured his pelvis and he's uh, had four months off with that. And uh, it was questionable how he'd come back. But uh, he seems fine, as you can see. And he's been a, a very honest horse and quite diligent about his work and much stronger now that he's a uh, five-year-old. And also a bit of news from the stable, John. Contentment's been retired. Oh, yeah, Contentment's retired. He um, seems to have lost his uh, enthusiasm for racing. He's healthy and well, he's in good shape, and uh, I'm sure he'll have a, a quite a peaceful retirement. He's a, he's a very good-natured horse, and um, he'll be a pleasure for someone to look after. Super missiles, Zach. A few nervous moments for you last time? Um, maybe for the for the people watching the screen, but I wasn't too worried. Still, though, for him to get up and win that way, he's obviously got talent. Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty ordinary field. Um, the format of the race hasn't been franked. Uh, he'd done no work, so he was entitled to um, hit the line when the gap come. But they've still got to get up and do that, and he done that. He'd done it in nice fashion. So he's a nice progressive horse. I, I think the extra distance is going to suit him. Just looking at him too, he's not that great out of the gates, is that a, something that he's going to need to work on? Yeah, it's uh, been a problem for him right from the start. Um, he just doesn't stand up right and comes out a little bit off balance and gets back. But he, at his last trial he seemed to begin a little bit better, so hopefully now that he's up in distance he can take a, a spot more comfortably. You've also had a bit to do with Jin Jin King who lines up in the same race. What can you tell us about this first starter? Yeah, he's, um, he's a nice enough horse, but he's probably going to need the outing, I think. Um, we're working very hard to get his, his hind foot right because we know he's a very talented horse and uh, we, we, we'd uh, love to be able to get him to the derby um, but with this uh, checkered uh, training program that he's had it hasn't made um, you know, life easy but um, as I said earlier he's a very talented horse and we hope that we can get him to the races on the weekend get some racing into him because he's a huge horse he's as big as Abel Friend at the moment, it's 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 day to day, uh, but we're hoping that uh, he can make the race because, as I said earlier, he's very talented. We know he's got a quite a turn of foot, even from his first run. The first impressions were that he had a you know a lot of turn of foot, except he just uh, he bottomed at about the uh, at the hundred. But um, the gate's perfect, um, considering that he's going to go into the race in need of that race. Um, but um, it's imperative that he does make it because the derby's coming you know, pretty quickly now, so uh, you know, we're running out of time. Hi, oh, Victory John, he's returning from injury. What's been the process like getting him back? No, it's been uneventful. His process, his progress has been very good. Um, he's uh, healthy and well and he's sound. He's had a few trials and uh, I think he's ready to go back to the races. He looks in pretty good shape. Are you happy with what he's shown you in those barrier trials that he's had? Yeah, he's, he's started off uh, like uh, an unfit horse, as you could imagine, but um, now he looks like he's fit enough to run and uh, fit enough to be competitive. 
and from three to four, has there been any development with him too? I think so. I, I, I think he has uh, changed a little bit and um, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if, he, uh, if he went a little bit higher in the grades.